McDonald's restaurants in our area are accused of overworking young children, including letting 10 year olds work in the kitchen. The U.S. Department of Labor investigated Louisville based Bauer Food, the Bell Restaurant Group and Archways Richwood out of Walton. All three operate dozens of McDonald's in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio and Maryland. The agency found more than 300 children worked more than the legally permitted hours, some of them past 2 a.m. Two 10 year olds worked in the kitchen without pay, one of them handling a deep fryer. All three companies are now facing civil penalties. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother and this shit is going to be hilarious. Two kids was found to be working at a McDonald's all the way up until 2 a.m. in the morning. Now, I'm assuming their parents was either on crack or these little bad motherfuckers. Like they were 10 years old. I did a lot of shit when I was younger, but 10 years old, I don't think I was working. Like, <laughs> snakes got W2s and shit. But, um, yeah, so the health inspector came in and found that it was the white bitch said that the kids was being overworked. This is how you know society's fucked up. When a white bitch with a straight face can say that kids were, children were being overworked, not that children were working. It's like, nah, bitch, they're not supposed to be working, period. The fact that she said they were overworked, it's like, I don't think they were supposed to get like four hours in or a worth of mileage on anybody. Like, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? I actually have to applaud it. Those kids got grit. And you know what? I'm not against having children work. I don't think I'd have them work to 2 a.m. at a McDonald's, but it probably was the weekend, right? Little bad black kids stay up until like 3 in the morning on weekends. So we can stop pretending like, like these motherfuckers was doing something productive. And if they was white, they was doing something productive. Um, and I'm tired of going to fuck it. I, I try not to eat this monkey ass shit because as I get older, shit is bad for my metabolism. And fat sticks to you. It's hard to get the shit off you. Um, but when I do go to get fast food, like I, I like they got to start hiring somebody. And like a Mac job is made for children. And even a 16 year old don't want to work at McDonald's like nigga, I, they don't want to get their iPhone that way. Not when they can play video games and for money and on Twitch and do all types of shit. And niggas are SoundCloud rappers. They ain't got time for that shit. Put a little 10 year old up there. He don't know the concept of money. Not too much. <clears throat> he going to make a $400 check every two weeks. That's $800 a month. Right. Like if I was the parent, I'm, I'm scooping that. And I'm saying I'm giving him like a hundred. Like he don't know. Like he, he don't know. A 10 year old don't know the difference between $100 and $500. You know, I'll probably take his first check by my iPhone and shit so he can shut the hell up. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm scooping that. You know, and, you know I, but like I was saying, I get tired of going to McDonald's and my food take 30 minutes. I've literally been in the drive thru and it took 32 fucking minutes. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Put them little bad bastards back there. Like, I, I'm impressed that they actually was working to 2 a.m. So they got the gist of the job. They was trained. They was properly, clearly they knew what the fuck they was doing because they was working to 2 a.m. Somebody should have noticed that their burger was messed up, but they didn't. 2 a.m. lets me know that these little bad motherfuckers, they was smart. They was programmable. And, <clears throat> you know, as long as we make the environment safe for them, I don't see what the problem is. Like, 10 year olds can make a mech double. I ain't nothing but damn Play Doh food any goddamn way. So, like, kids like Play Doh and Legos and shit. Um, you know, probably teach them, you know, that shit is hot and you can burn yourself in the grease. But once they got that down packed, my nigga, hey, it's iPhone land. You getting the iPhone, you getting them J's, you getting little young girls like lace fronts, you getting all that. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation 6 if the bitch come out. I ain't got to pay for it. I don't got no kids, but if I did, even if I was paid, little bad motherfuckers is paying for their own PlayStation. I don't fuck around. And we need to take it back to the 1900s. You see these niggas right here? These niggas look like they had fucking, they was 12 years old going on 36. These niggas had a wife and kid at home. They didn't give a fuck. They, they, see the little white girl right here working in the textile plant? Don't fuck with Ruth the Jane. She look like she'll bite you. The, all these little kids right to the right of me look like gremlins. These motherfuckers had pensions. They was part of the union. They didn't fuck around. They worked eight hours. Then they turned back around and got up and went to school. You know, they probably went to school for like three hours. <laughs> it was dumb as shit. <laughs> but they were sturdy back then. That's what we need to make. Bring back sturdy kids. In any event, it's been my ideal thoughts and opinions on this. And I was going to report on this yesterday, but I had a goddamn migraine. Y'all rock with me, man. Anyways, subscribe, click the notifications, share on social media platforms, and tell all your friends about the show. I'm out.